Hi there, DJ here from Our Upcycled Life, and I do lots of thrifting, upcycling, repurposing, and DIY content. And today I am taking packing paper and making it look like faux leather. It looks really authentic, I think, and it's fantastic to add to your DIY projects, your junk journaling, mixed media, scrapbooking. So easy to do, and there's one secret ingredient, hand cream. Stay through to the end so you can see the results because it's fantastic. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna do this technique on a piece of packing paper. We get all kinds of packing paper from Amazon and just parcels that are being delivered. I hate throwing it out, so I always have a stash of it. You can also use a paper bag or even regular paper. You wanna take your paper and scrunch it up really well. Really scrunch it, really wrinkle it as much as you can. Now you have to be a little bit gentle because we don't wanna rip or tear it, but scrunch it in different directions until it really looks wrinkled. I've recently got really interested in junk journaling, so I'm always looking for different ways to create really fun paper to add to my journaling projects, and this is one that I'm excited to use. I'm gonna cut this down to size so it's a little bit easier to manage when I show you the rest of the technique. And I'm just gonna scrunch the ends that I just cut so they're nice and wrinkled also. I want the paper to have the color of leather. I've taken a little bit of instant coffee and warm water, mixed it up in this little dish, and I just have a sponge, and I'm just gonna sponge that whole piece of paper. And if you don't wanna use the coffee stain, you can always use tea, or you can use a really watered down acrylic paint and just choose colors that you think kind of mimic the look of leather and you'll get a really nice result. I let the coffee stain completely dry. Now I have some pigment ink on a pad and I'm just going to just lightly rub it on top of that paper now. And wherever there's a wrinkle, that ink is going to pick up on that wrinkle and it's going to accentuate it and make it look like leather. We're getting there. This is just ink that you use for stamping. You can find it at any craft store. I let the ink dry and now we're scrunching it up. Just being careful, you don't wanna rip or tear it, but we just wanna re-wrinkle it. We're gonna flatten it completely out again and then we're gonna go over it again with that pigment ink and it's gonna pick up on some other wrinkles after we scrunched it up again. There's something about old vintage leather that's worn and well used that I absolutely love and I'm really drawn to. So when I create this paper, it just makes me have that feeling of that type of leather. Okay, we've got the paper all prepped. Now we're ready for the secret ingredient. Grab some hand cream. Doesn't matter what kind, as long as it's not colored. You want something that's going to be white or clear and just rub it into your paper. Rub it in really well into all those little wrinkles and all those nooks and crannies. And this will also work with hair conditioner. It works the same as it does on your hair or your hands or your skin. It's softening the fibers in that paper and making it have that leather feel. Just as conditioner does or hand cream does, this is working the same way. Now I'm just gonna really carefully just scrunch that paper together and get all that hand cream absorbed right into that paper. You gotta be really careful because you don't wanna rip it or tear it now that we've gotten to this point. Another benefit to this DIY is you're also moisturizing your hands while you're making it. We're gonna flatten it right out and then we're gonna set it aside and let it dry and soak right into the paper. And here's the end result. We've taken packing paper and with a few steps, we have transformed this into a piece of faux looking leather, which I'm really excited to use in my DIY projects. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and it's inspired you to make some for yourself. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. And if you love this video, I'm sure you'll love either of these two. Take care.